However, sex provides the opportunity for change. And one very formidable insect plays this double card with a plum. This green aphid is populating the world with herself. She's a virgin, and cloning herself, she produces a genetically identical daughter every 20 minutes. The babies even have babies inside them. So the mother aphid nurtures her granddaughters even before they're born. Such prolific clones bent solely on breeding are easy pickings for others. This solitary wasp is laying her eggs in the aphid's body. And they are a feast for voracious ladybirds. Half the clones are born with wings to accelerate their expanding empire. They disperse in the summer air to colonize neighboring plants. During the good times when plants are growing, each aphid races to copy herself. Males have no place and don't exist. Until later, when autumn draws near. Now the females suddenly switch to producing orange-colored babies. Some will be males. She engineers sex into her offspring because the coming seasons are unpredictable. The next summer might be very different from the one in which she was born. To copulate, the aphids fly off to fruit trees. And when they mature, the females lose their wings and the males turn as rampant as any red deer stag. Because they have dispersed, it's very likely that the mating partners come from different clones. Having sex with your own clone is the most useless sex imaginable. By opting for sex, the female aphid is cannily exploiting males from other clones to inject a bit of variety into her line when the future is uncertain. Her eggs will overwinter, and as the conditions next spring are unpredictable, she has produced a brood of dormant embryos which all differ from each other. Some are bound to survive. Genetic variability is a weapon to battle with environmental changes. In a perfect and stable world, it's likely all females of all species would prefer to clone. But getting rid of males is difficult once they're there.